You're watching BBC News. I'm Philippa Thomas. The latest headlines. An historic day in Turkey. After 13 years in power, President Erdogan's party has lost its parliamentary majority and the pro-Kurdish HDP is celebrating a breakthrough. Well, that's our top story and let's stay with it because with me now is Dr. Azra Ozurek. Associate Professor in Contemporary Turkish Studies from the London School of Economics. Asra, thank you very much for coming in. How big a story is this for Turkey? Yeah, it is really important. Um, on the one hand, the Kurdish movement showed that it transformed itself and it is transforming Turkey. It is making its message be heard by Turkish people through uh, Turkey and it is fighting for the rights of all oppressed people and this is something that People. So it's reached out, it's not just appealing to Kurdish voters, it's appealing exactly. to, to what other kinds of voters? Exactly, it really reached out to left. The Two years ago there were these major Gezi protests in Turkey, so it's really connected with those people, so it fought for rights of LGBT people, it really is fighting for women, so it became a really movement of all oppressed people in Turkey. And it's interesting when you look at women voters, for example, because President Erdogan had made some controversial comments about women not being equal to men, they should stay in the home and have children. Yes. All those kind of comments got a lot of attention. Yes, exactly. And I think um, these elections also gave the message to the ruling party that they do not want this new direction that the party is going towards. They do not want a party that is more authoritarian, that is irrespectful of women, that is single-handedly strong, um, is involved with corruption. So they also invited the government, governing party, AK Party, to go back to its older mission when it was a fresh breath of democracy, liberalism in Turkey in the early 2000s. And what about foreign policy? Because we know that Turkey is so important, I mean not least because it's on the border with Syria uh -huh. and we think about the fight against Islamic State. Yes, exactly. I think it will be a huge change in that uh, respect as well because we know that Kurds in the region have been very active fighting against the Islamic State and with 70 or 80 parliamentarians um, so hopefully Tur Turkey will be more active in fighting against the Islamic State. We should say, I suppose, this might not be the end of it. There could be another election quite early. That, that's something that could happen since the AK doesn't have its majority. Yes, definitely. So we don't know what kind of a coalition will there be. And coalitions usually bring um, economic problems. So there might, there might be a problem of instability. Um, and that may lead to early uh, elections. That is a possibility. We'll be talking about Turkey a lot more, <laughs> I'm sure. Azra Ozurek, thank you very much for coming in. Thank, thank you. you.